Hey, hey, Shabby. Um, just got in from service. I was told that you had made it here. I know you were getting yourself set up so you can get settled in. I'm glad to see that you're settled in. I just wanted to see if maybe you wanted to come to the front and have communion since it is first Sunday and you wasn't able to make it to service. But um, what is all of this that you have set up here, baby? Uh, because, you know, in, in this household, we only celebrate Jesus um, and church is definitely a must in this household. Uh, I know that we, not, we did not go over these rules, but I'm not familiar with the things that you have set up here. So what, would you mind filling me in on what, what all of this stuff is here? What is this, baby? Oh, well, this is just, um, I have a little bit of amethyst over here, my candle, my feather. Um, I have my jasper, turquoise. Um, nothing really, it's just my altar that I use. Your altar? Yes, auntie, it's my altar. Uh, sweetheart, e everything we do in this household is based on the word of God, okay? W whatever comes from the word of God is what we base our practices off of. And uh, I understand that you have an altar. I'm not really sure. I've never heard of this. I know the pastor has been spoken. He's been speaking about the new age things that a lot of you young people are in today. But um, the only altar that I'm familiar with is the one that's bathed in the blood of Jesus. Uh, and so I'm, I'm definitely a little concerned that you felt comfortable enough to bring these types of things into my home, baby. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to proceed forward if this is what you have. I mean, if, you know, show me in biblical text where crystals and these types of things are uh, even of God. I, I don't see it. I don't see it at all. So show me, you know, I have my Bible here. So we are, is there something that you can show me? Because otherwise, if you can't find it in a word, then I can't, I can't receive that. Here, why don't you show me? Oh, okay, Auntie. Um, if you don't mind, I'll I'll take that. Um, I don't mind looking up biblical scripture to give you some clear, you know, clarity. But I don't necessarily base my spiritual practices off of one book. Um, but I will most certainly pull up some scriptures if you are okay with that. If that's what you need. Um, so Revelations chapter. 18, uh, let's see, Revelations chapter 18, verses, give me one second, auntie, okay, there it is, uh, yeah, this one is actually in Revelations chapter 21, um, we can start at verses 19, 21 verses 19. And the foundation of the wall of the city were garnished with all matter of precious stones. Uh, the first foundation was jasper. And that's this one right here, auntie. Uh, this is jasper right here. Um, and so we have jasper. Let me see. I lost. Okay. And the second uh, was sapphire. The third was cal chalcedony. And the fourth, an emerald. Uh, the fifth was Sardinox, and the sixth was Sardius, the seventh was Crystallite, the eighth, Beryl, the ninth, Topaz, the tenth, Chris, Chris, ooh, I can't even pronounce that, excuse me, it's just it's so many different types of crystals here, and the eleventh, um, Isonet, and the twelfth is Amethyst, which is the, the purple one that I just showed you right here, auntie, this one right here is Amethyst, so... Uh, this is saying in scripture, in Revelations, which is the reveal that the kingdom, which would be the heaven on earth, would be built, the walls would be built up with crystals. And so uh, many different precious stones, ones that I don't even possess, even though I have many. So, I mean, I hope that gave you some clarity. Um, maybe you'll be more interested in crystals. I mean, I did notice that beautiful diamond necklace that you had on the other day, which is also a precious stone, you know, um, respectfully, of course. So I hope that answered your question. Now, now listen here, Shavi. What you're not going to do is get jazzy with me and, and raise your voice in my house, okay? Uh, now, you know, uh, what I am aware of as being a Christian for the past 55 years of my life is that, you know, I do not base anything off of personal interpretation, Whatever I read from the passage is always based on what my pastor is able to teach me and to guide me because he is a man of God and he is well studied. 
Now, you may have seen things that reference crystals in the biblical text, but I assure you, it is not to be used in the way that you are using it. You just have them laid out. Of course, this is not the kingdom of, of God that you have right here in this room. So, you know, I, 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 what I, I feel that we're going to have a hard time with this, Shavi. And so I, I strongly suggest that you go ahead and, you know, expedite your exit uh, and, and see what you can do as far as leaving uh, sooner than uh, two weeks, because this is not going to work. We only represent Jesus in this household. And if the altar ain't smothered and, and smothered with the blood and the remains of Jesus Christ, then it don't belong up in here. OK, is that understood? Is that understood? Y yes, ma'am. Um, I have no problem with leaving. As a matter of fact, I'll be gone by morning. I wish we would have had this conversation soon. Yes, yes. I wish we would have had this conversation sooner, Shabby. So with that being said, uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make my exit. But you, I'm going to need you to get rid of these things uh, until you decide to go ahead and, and leave.